टू माई चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन अकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस दी वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सेंट्रीफ्यूगल एयर कंप्रेसर वाई इट इज कॉल सेंट्रीफ्यूगल एयर कंप्रेसर बिकॉज इट विल वर्क ऑन सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स सो इट इज कॉल सेंट्रीफ्यूगल एयर कंप्रेसर सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स मीन्स दी मास इज अवे फ्रॉम सेंट्रोडल एक्सिस ओके इट्स इक्वेशन इज एफ सी इक्वल टू एम ओमेगा स्क्वेर आर it is the equation of centrifugal force where m is the mass omega means angular velocity and r is the radius and the equation of omega 2 pi n upon 60 so the centrifugal force it will depend on speed okay and this uh, compressor it will work on centrifugal force so it is called centrifugal air compressor okay these are the different components it is a impeller okay it is a rotating disk and its function is to convert the kinetic energy into pressure energy here you can see that on the disk of impeller there are a uh, radial curves bled on the surface of the impeller this is a diffuser okay on the outer periphery of the impeller here you can see that one ring is there it is called diffuser ring and the function of the diffuser is it will again increase the pressure this is the volute casing so here the shaft of the impeller okay it is connected with the motor okay so it is a input device okay we receive the power from the motor okay this motor will rotate the impeller blades whenever the impeller blades it will be rotated so due to centrifugal force okay the mass is away from centroidal axis okay this is called impeller i this is called impeller i okay here the uh, fluid or air it will be enter into the impeller whenever the uh, disk of the impeller it will be rotated okay so due to the centrifugal force the mass is away from centroidal axis okay here mass is uh, we are considering air okay and uh, whenever the air particles is away from the centroidal axis okay here the negative pressure will be generated because we know that energy is always flow from high grade to low grade so due to the negative pressure okay generated in the impeller i so it will suck the air okay from the atmosphere okay then after whenever it will be rotated okay so it will thrown the mass of the air we know that centrifugal force means the mass is away from centroidal axis and in centrifugal force means the mass is concentrated on center okay so it is called centripetal forces okay there are two types of forces centripetal forces and centrifugal forces so this compressor it will work on centrifugal force so it is called centrifugal air compressor so uh, whenever the impeller will be rotated by using a motor okay so here the negative pressure will be generated okay and uh, we know that energy is always flow from high grade to low grade so here the suction will be take plus and okay here you can see that okay the uh, blades of the impeller it is a uh, cow shape okay so uh, this uh, kinetic energy of the air uh, the particles of the air having kinetic energy and uh, it is deaccelerated because this particles it will strike with the impeller blades so at that time what happen according to the first law of thermodynamics we cannot generate the energy and we cannot destroy the energy whatever the energy available in nature they all are convertible with each other so here the fluid particles or we can say air particles having kinetic energy for example uh, this is a chalk okay whenever we throw it so at that time uh, this uh, chalk having kinetic energy or large acceleration so uh, whenever the air particles it will strike with the impeller blades okay at that time the acceleration of the air particles it is deaccelerated because Uh, it will strike with the impeller blades so here the kinetic energy it will be converted into pressure energy can okay, we require the pressure okay to compress the air then after uh, this air particles it will pass through the diffuser ring again the pressure of the air it will be increases and it will be delivered to the delivery tank so this is the working principle of centrifugal air compressor okay the generally the speed of the uh, impeller is a uh, 20000 rpm to 30000 rpm and the application of the centrifugal air compressor is 
for a, a large quantity of air at low pressure. So, this is the working principle of centrifugal air compressor. I hope this content it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical videos, then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends.